number 16. Number 16, the standard design reference for env environmental noise temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Nasanay kasi tayo ng degrees Celsius, no? Yung temperature kasi in degrees Celsius, that is 17 degrees Celsius. That's the ambient temperature. Now, kung ang tinatanong ay in degrees Celsius, then wala na tayong problema. Letter A is the correct answer. But we are asked for this temperature, the ambient temperature or the environmental, the, the, the design reference for environmental noise temperature, but in Fahrenheit. So, ano gagawin natin? Madali lang, di convert mo into Fahrenheit yung 17 degrees Celsius. Tama? At simple lang naman yan. Correct? So, you have the, the Celsius, 9 over 5, then plus 32. Okay? Uh, gawin, gawin na rin natin sa Celsius. Kung Celsius naman, that will be F minus 32. And then, you multiply it by 5 over 9. No? Very elementary siya. So, pag ito ang ginamit natin, what will be the answer? The answer will be letter letter D, 62.2. Actually, parang may kulang pa nga ng konti yan. Okay, anyway, yan yung pinakamalapit. So, the answer for this question is letter D. Now, let's move on to the next uh, question. Number 17. A transmitter supplies 25 watts to a load through a line with SWR of 4 is to 1. Find the power absorbed by the load. Okay, so ang hinahanap natin ay yung power absorbed by the load. So that is load power equal to 4SWR. This will be the equation. 4SWR, 1 plus SWR squared. Okay, then multiply it by the incident power. So given naman lahat, tama? Wala tayong... Uh, walang problema masyado dahil direct substitution lang ito. So, SWR is 4. Okay? SWR is 4 and the incident power is 25 watts. Okay? So, uh, pagka kinuha na natin ngayon yung sagot, the answer will become 16 watts. Okay? Nakuha po ba natin yun? Okay. Walang kahirap-hirap. Tama? Okay. Number 18. Number 18. Sabi naman dito sa number 18, the forward power in a transmission line is 50 watts and the reverse power is 20 watts. Calculate the SWR of the line. So how do we compute for the SWR of the line? SWR is equal to 1, uh, 1 plus the reflection coefficient over 1 minus the reflection coefficient. Now, what is the reflection coefficient? Reflection coefficient is basically, if that is in power, that is equal to square root of PR over PI, or the, the reflected power over the incident power. That is the reflection coefficient. Now, if we're going to get the value of this, SWR is equal to, yan, makuha na natin equation. This will be the equation. Okay, so given yung reflected power, given yung incident power, then we get the SWR. So SWR will be 1 plus square root of 20 watts over 50 all over 1 minus square root of 20 over 50 watts. That will become, yan, ito na yan. Na, makukuha na natin ito. Okay, that will be the value. And then, of course, the answer will become 4.0, 4.405, and that is letter B. Okay? So, madali lang siya, no? Number 19. A short-circuited transmission line less than quarter wavelength long is what? Okay, so may konti pang explanation dito, no? Ganito yan, eh. Yung quarter wavelength kasi natin... Okay, kung i-drawing natin yan. Ito, yung, ito ang, ang, ang haba nito ay quarter wavelength. Okay, yan. Nasulatan ko na tuloy choices. Pagka daw, uh, yung quarter wave, yung line mo, say for example, you have a line, and it is, it is exactly quarter wavelength at short-circuited line ito. Ano ang equivalent niyan? Ang equivalent niyan ay para siyang parallel resonant circuit. 
Okay? Yan ang equivalent niya, ha? Sakto siya na quarter, shorted at the end. Paano kung halimbawa, sakto siya na quarter, pero sa dulo niya, it is open. Kapag ka-open yan, uh, para siyang series resonant circuit. Yan, series resonant circuit. Ganda ng drawing ko, na parang pang elementary. Okay? Pero kapag kayan ay less than quarter and shorted, ah, iba na yan. No? Nan na yan. <laughs> okay? Pero may iba ako naiisip. Anyway, uh, ano, na, ano, na, <laughs> ano na equivalent yan? Ang equivalent yan ay para siyang inductor, inductive. Okay? And then kapag ka naman less than quarter and open, para siyang capacitive. Pagka more than quarter and shorted, more than quarter and shorted, yan, ano yan? Capacitive yan. Pero kapag more than quarter, para lalagpas sa doon sa baba, ano? And then open, para naman siyang uh, inductive ulit. Okay? So, yun yung mga equivalent circuit. So, ang tinatanong, short-circuited transmission line, short-circuited transmission line, ito yan, ano Isa, dalawa, tatlo. Less than quarter wavelength long. Less than quarter, ito lang yon. So, ano sagot? Ang sagot, para siyang inductive na circuit. So, the answer is letter A for number 19. I hope you get that. Okay? Next number, number 20. What is the characteristic impedance of a polyvinyl chloride? Actually, madali lang yung solution dito eh. Characteristic impedance of polyvinyl chloride or PVC is 377 ohms over square root of the relative permittivity. But the question really is, ano yung relative permittivity ng poly polyvinyl chloride? Okay? Uh, kung alam mo, di alam mo na yung sagot. Pagka hindi, actually, yung talagang pag-iisipan mo. Yung characteristic impedance ng polyvinyl chloride. So, the answer for, or the the the... Uh, the relative permittivity of polyvinyl chloride is actually 3.4. Okay? In some books, you will see here 3.3. In other books, you will see the 3.4. So, uh, medyo, ano naman, malapit naman yung sagot niyan. No? But the answer for this is letter letter A, 204.46 ohms. Kung maging 3.4 man yan, hindi naman siya ganun kalayo. Okay? So, number 20 and letter A is the correct answer. Okay?